Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, you join me in the car on the side of the motorway. Um, I'm just out logging some data today. So in the previous video you saw, actually what was the previous video? Uh, I think that was installing the uh, plug and play adapter. Um, so um, now yeah, I'm basically just logging data with VCDS on the standard OEM ECU, just to try and gather data so that I can create my own map based on a standard map. And then obviously I'll add the boosted element of the map afterwards when it's in the BMW. For now, this is kind of just getting the kind of startup warm up and kind of base configuration done. Um, so, unfortunately, battery's running out a little bit, so I'll have to be quick. Okay, that was a GT3, I think. Anyway, um, so what I'm logging, I'm logging, unfortunately, with VCDS. It only lets you log three channels at a time, and each channel has four gr four groups. Or oh, sorry, three groups, and each group has four channels. So I'm logging group three, which is RPM, mass airflow, load, and ignition timing. Group thirty one is uh, lambda requested and lambda actual, and finally group one hundred two is RPM, IAT, coolant temp, which is actually getting quite hot actually, ninety six, and uh, ignition. To injection on time in milliseconds right uh, so yeah basically again just just driving around in different scenarios just to try and gather as much data as possible and then I will use uh, Meglog viewer HD to analyze that data it uses like histograms and and plotters and stuff which is quite good but I'll, I'll get into that in a later video um, so yeah literally it's just a case of driving around under various different road conditions different loads different rpms um, I tend to kind of drive it like I stole it for kind of the useful part of the map which is the bit where you're obviously going to do most of the driving and then the other parts of the map you generally won't enter but obviously you've got to put some values because you might drive through them um, or there might be an occasion where I don't know you're, you're going up a hill in the wrong gear so you need some, some data in there so what I tend to do is go around in fifth at a low speed um, and then the high speed stuff I tend to be in lower gear so if it's low low speed high gear high speed low gear and that kind of gets enough data to fill in the rest of the map and um, with some reasonable data um, but again you can cross reference that with other people's maps and just make judgment as to whether you think it's okay um, I'm still yet to do the analysis so we'll see what numbers I, I get out but that's basically it and um, so now I'm just going to restart the log go for a drive um, and then head home and, and, and analyze the data um, I don't think there's really anything to, to, to add. There's no point in you seeing me kind of drive around because literally it is literally just driving around with a, with a laptop in the car. So there's nothing really exciting to watch. But again, just want to document the process. Um, so again, um, the plug and play adapter has been fitted. I'm not running on the e EMU Black at the moment. It's just a standard VW ECU. So I'm just using VECOM or what well, it used to be called VECOM. It's called VCDS now. Just like an, it's a um, diagnostic tool that allows you to log certain parameters. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I'm using. I've also been using it to log um, uh, engine knock, just to get a judgment as to what kind of numbers come out in terms of the voltages. Because I know there's a um, not kind of a compensation factor that VCDS uses, is like an amplifier to the signal. So I haven't, I'm not able to see the raw voltage signal, which is a bit annoying, but at least it gives me a trend. Um, what else have I been looking at? Uh, VVT on the inlet and exhaust side. Um, I'm going to have a look at it in more detail, but it's not on my priority list, uh, on top of my priority list, simply because the engine that I'm using in the BMW doesn't have VVT. Um, it's a nice thing to be able to understand how it works and stuff, so I'll, I'll get to it at a later point, but for now I just want to understand kind of simply, simplistically speaking, how it works um, so that I can put it at a safe level and then just, just kind of forget about it, if that makes sense for now. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So um, I won't keep you any longer. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video, although there's not much to the video, and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more. Um, next video should be um, analyzing the data. That, that should be an interesting one. Alright guys, thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, bye.